Hey guys, what's up? This is your guy Shubham Pramanik back again with another video and today we are going to do some crazy wild stuff inside of After Effects. Do it at your own risk at home but definitely you can watch me doing this stuff in After Effects and don't forget to hit the like button, comment your thoughts and subscribe for more. I'm going to set uh, ellipse tool then press shift and drag it like this way to create a proper circle like this i'm going to press ace to scale it down just like this okay and after that i'm going to type in record and for the font i'm going to use the gotham font that resembles to our pain hub community okay and after that i'll select these two layers i'll press ctrl shift and c and name it as scene one hit ok go to scene one and after that i'm going to press ctrl shift and right arrow key to move forward 10 frames and then i'm going to press alt shift and t to create a keyframe on the opacity and i'll track this keyframe in the beginning i'll set this one as zero after that i'm going to press again ctrl shift right arrow key to move forward 10 frames i'm going to set the opacity 100 again ctrl shift right arrow and i'm going to set this at zero okay now ramp preview it and let's see so it will blink like this way okay looks good go to your main composition and here you can see as well okay so after that i'm going to one second and let's build the second scene as well okay so for that what i'll do i'll create a new composition and name it as scene 2 hit ok and there we are going to make our laptop screen so for that i'm going to select the rounded rectangle tool drag it like this way okay now set the fill to none so i'll press alt and it cycles through this and for the stroke i'm going to set the stroke as 15 okay looks good now change the color to our main uh, yellow color that's the code and i'm going to paste it over here okay looks nice then i'm going to select the pen tool and draw a shape like this okay looks good now change the stroke to none set the fill and after that what i'll do name it as um, screen okay so after that i'm going to select the screen layer and select the pan behind tool or anchor point mover tool and press ctrl and drag it like this way to set this uh, in the bottom center and after that i'm going to press ace to reveal the scale property let's unlink that and set a keyframe go to 5 or 10 frames forward and uh, set these keyframes over here and set another keyframe and make it as zero in the starting position okay so it will animate like this and now select these two keyframes and i'm using the keyframe wingman for the animation it's a free plugin you can download it for free i'll give the link in the description as well so now drag this handle just like this now go to your main composition drag that scene to over here and set the in point to around one second now let's animate these two scene together okay so at this point we are going to change our position and opacity property so i'll press alt shift and p to set a keyframe on the position now let's drag this keyframe over here and set the position a little bit down just like this and set another keyframe on the opacity and drag this one over here and set the in opacity to zero so it will animate like this also we have to animate our scene 1 as well so i'll set, select the scene 1 i'll press alt shift and t and p as well and uh, there i'm going to set these two keyframes over here and now change this position little bit down just like this and set the opacity at zero over here okay i think we have to change this keyframe as well and after that what i'll do i'll select these two keyframes and i'm going to use keyframe wingman again for that and select these two keyframes and easy is okay now let's ramp preview it and let's see how it's looking so far Here you can see i think we can make the animation a little bit snappier so i'll drag these two keyframes closer to each one okay and now see 
I think a little bit closer. Looks good. And uh, here as well, we have to change the duration. So it will animate like this. Now let's see. Now let's ramp preview. Now let's go to scene 2. So after that, I'm going to select our polygon tool and let's draw a polygon just like this. Now press Ctrl F and type in point. Now change the point to 3. Create a triangle just like this and it's going to be our arrow head as well as the play button sign. Okay. Create a circle and place it in the center of the screen. Scale it down a little bit make the anchor point in the center and change the fill color of the triangle to a black color now name the shape layer 3 as our arrow head and name it as yellow circle later on we are going to animate this one as well now select the pen tool a shape layer just like this set the stroke to 20 and uh, now at this point of time uh, just parent this one to with this so we are going to animate our arrow head so press alt shift and p to set a keyframe over there and now drag this on over here okay just like this and go to a few frame forwards and over here we are going to crop it here you can see it will look like this okay and if you want you can set a opacity keyframe as well so make this zero in the beginning do the same thing for this as well now let's see and after that when it reaches this point i'm going to select our arrow head again now set a keyframe on the rotation so i'll press alt shift r and i'll go a little bit forward now change this to 90 degree so it will animate like this and after that uh, duplicate your yellow circle by pressing ctrl d and name it as black circle now set a keyframe on the scale so i'll press alt shift and s and drag this keyframe over here and uh, now make it zero press k and change the color to your black and now decrease this keyframe a little bit just like this okay and also we have to change our arrow color as well so i'll go there i'll set a keyframe on the arrow head i'll go forward and i'll change the color to our main yellow color okay so it will look like this here you can see and if you want uh, you can select black circle scale property just select that and easy ease those okay looks nice change select these two keyframes as well you can see looks nice after that i'm going to select all of the four layers i'll press ctrl x and i'll go to main composition and place paste it over here okay and position this one here so it will animate like this okay looks good and after that uh, let's animate the URL circle a little bit so i'll press alt shift p again drag this over here just a touch if you want you can animate the opacity as well and change this to zero now let's ramp preview it looks good right and after that when it completes the animation just like this we have to uh, animate this one as well so i'll go to screen i'll add a trim path and i'll select the trim path i'll set a keyframe on the end position and uh, go to 10 frames forward change the 
ending to zero and uh, change of the offset value some what like 60 degree so it will animate like this okay nice select these two keyframes and easy is those just like this nice now let's see how it is looking over here now after that select your scene tool and select these two keyframes ctrl c paste it over here by pressing ctrl v right click go to keyframe assistant time reverse keyframe okay looking good right after that let's build the arrow animation so i'll select these two press ctrl c to copy them press ctrl n to create a new sequence name it as arrow button and hit ok after that press ctrl v to paste them over here i'll select these two i'll press ctrl d to duplicate them drag it like this or behind them and now change the color to our main yellow color copy okay and now select these two press s and drag it like this so it's going to be our arrow now drag the arrow button over here just like this press r to rotate it like this uh, press alt shift p to set a keyframe on the position and go to a few frames forward and drag it like this if you want you can set the scale a little bit down just like this now press U, select these two keyframes and easy is. And if you want, you can modify the path a little bit. Okay. And after that, what I'll do, I'll select, I'll press Alt, Shift and S to set a keyframe on the scale. I'll go 10 frames forward and make this one as, as 45. Go 10 frames forward and make this one 60 again so it will look like a click and around three seconds i'm going to place our third scene so let's build that as well scene o3 hit ok now for the text animation i'm going to use the typewriter effect press u and drag this keyframe over here so it will animate like this and after that Select the shape layer, select the pan behind tool, drag the keyframe around this corner and press Alt Shift R. Again set a keyframe, drag this keyframe 10 frames forward. Now change the rotation to something like this. Okay. And set a keyframe on the opacity as well. Make it zero. Okay. Now select these two keyframes go to your graph editor let's go to the value graph and select the rotation now drag it like this so it will animate like this okay looks good so now go to our main composition and drag in the scene 3 set the in position to around 3 seconds now let's see okay so we have to crop all of the layers at this position okay and now i'm going to create a new null object name this as control and now select all of the layers and parent all of them with our control layer now position the control layer in the center i guess now it is in the center looks nice yes now let's ramp preview it and let's see how it is looking all right it's looking very nice so in this way we can make some cool looking logo animation using some simple tricks and techniques all right so that's a wrap for today's video thank you so much for watching the video i'll see you in the next one keep animating keep smiling